Confess Fletch, available online, new mystery comedy starring John Hamm and Lorenza Itza. It's based on a novel uh, that's part of a larger series about the titular character Fletch. Uh, some of you older folks out there may remember that there already was an adaptation of those books made by Hollywood. In fact, in the 1980s there were two Fletch movies made starring Chevy Chase, and those became sort of, you know, one of his defining roles. Uh, this new film is not a sequel nor a reboot of those films, it's simply a new modernized adaptation. Uh, the story is pretty damn convoluted, uh, but the simple explanation is this. A rich Italian guy has a bunch of valuable paintings stolen from him by unknown parties, and soon after he himself gets kidnapped for ransom. Fletch, played by John Hamm, uh, who is a former investigative journalist and now a sort of part-time private eye, approaches the daughter of the Italian guy, Angela, to let her know that he has got a lead on the missing paintings and he could track them down in Boston. He gets on the case, but as soon as he arrives at the house that Angela arrives for him, uh, that Angela arranges for him uh, in Boston, there is a young woman's dead body there. Uh, Fletch becomes the main suspect in the case, and so he tries to avoid the police and clear his name by finding the real murderer, and at the same time, find the missing paintings. And of course, at some point, the two plot lines may become connected in more ways than it would initially seem. So it's a very light-hearted, unpretentious uh, caper that knows perfectly well what it is and, and finds ways to make it work. It almost feels like the filmmakers looked at the script, looked at the plot and said, yeah, that is <laughs> very convoluted. So instead of putting full focus on just the story, we're going to give the spotlight to the characters and build humor off of their interactions. Uh, and it works. Uh, John Hamm is an amazing Fletch. He perfectly skirts the line between being a smart, competent guy and a bumbling fool, uh, all with the undeniable charisma that wins him the hearts of both the audience and the other people populating the film. Uh, the side characters are all, are all great and some of the scenes where they get to individually shine are all really well done and, and very funny, like the scene with the pothead neighbor or uh, the wife of the Italian guy showing up out of the blue in Boston. Uh, I loved all the interactions between Fletch and the police officers. Uh, Kyle MacLachlan shows up in a small but memorable role channeling, I, I'm pretty sure, Patrick Fabian uh, as Howard Hamlin in Better Call Saul. I mean, I swear it's the same voice, same cadence, same energy. Uh, and you know, it's not a movie that is somehow impressive in any particular way. It doesn't have gorgeous cinematography, doesn't have terrific music, the plot isn't something that we've never seen before. But I feel like it doesn't need to have any of those things because it's it's the equivalent of comfort food in cinematic terms. It It's not the best in the world. Uh, the ingredients aren't the most rare or expensive. It isn't gonna win any awards, but it is tasty and sometimes you just need this particular kind of effortless, easy, tasty. It's light, it's fun, it's got a relaxing and enjoyable atmosphere. It's, as I said, it's not gonna win any awards, but it's a solid way to spend a quiet autumn evening.